Hey out there YouTube land, welcome back. Jazzy with another review for you today. And this time we'll be doing the Masterpiece Optimus Primal figure from Takara. Um, as I've said before, I'm a huge fan of the Beast Wars. Uh, and I was really excited when this guy came out. Um, I and, and I gotta say, I do love this figure. He's very well done. Um, I... I and I find uh, a lot of the MP Beast Wars figures uh, a bit pricier, uh, but I didn't find he was. He was a really good price for me. Uh, very affordable for my budget. Um, and he looks really, really nice. Let's see if I can get a better close-up of him. He's mainly just a, a gray paint, but... Um, I'm sure my camera can't pick it up very well, but they do actually have hair paint. They've painted hair on uh, on most of his body, on his head up here. Uh, so it looks like he has fur. Um, his chest and his face look bald. Uh, they're just normal paint. Uh, but uh, still, he, he still looks really, really good. A um, couple little things. Um, you know, you do have some robotish parts sticking out basically from the back legs um, and the arms are essentially the exact same arms for his robot mode so there's not much not much to transforming him really um, and one thing I don't like is this part here like the face is interchangeable and so you can really see an obvious line where where that happens but uh, overall, I really love this figure. Uh, I normally keep him in his robot mode, like all my beast. Uh, oh, sorry, all of my uh, masterpiece figures. <clears throat> but he does look really nice in beast mode. Um, really good detail, right down to his feet down there. His gorilla gut. Uh, Articulation-wise, you do have head movement. It was pretty good actually. Uh, and you'll get the same move articulation for his robot arms. That's a nice ratchet joint there. Bicep swivel, elbow joint. Uh, the legs do move, not a whole lot. Um, and you do have an ankle pivot, which is cool. But ultimately, it's, it's a bit limited. Just for comparison, here he is with the original Beast Wars Optimus Primal. Um, he's quite a bit smaller um, and he doesn't have the molding detail for hair like off the original one did. He had His hair looks more painted on. But it still looks nice. Unfortunately the one feature he doesn't have is the chest thumping he can't chest thump like Optimus Primal can. But still, he does look really nice. He does come with two other gorilla faces, which we will put on him. First, we have this angry-looking Optimus Primal. I guess that's from the episode where his... Where the Predacons turned him right beastie. Pardon the pun. And he slaughtered all of them pretty badly. I can't remember the name of that episode. Maybe someone could comment it. And then we have Smiley Face. Optimus Primal. Very happy. As a happy monkey. Monkey, not truck. Actually, I like both Optimus Prime and Optimus Primal. I have no argument. I love Beast Wars too. But uh, that's not much more to his Beast Mode. Um, like I said, he looks nice. I like him. And the transformation actually is not all that hard. Uh, we'll get right into it actually. I like to start with the arms first. I just put them up like this. And really there's not a whole lot you do with the arms. For transformation, they're pretty much done. The shoulder things will have to come up, but 
that's nothing. For his legs, I will start first with the feet. I'm going to do these together because it's just flip down the robot foot and put in the beast foot. Then you want to pull this tab down for his ankle, uh, his ankle, his ball joint for the foot. Now for these legs, you need to take this out, and you're going to want to turn it around like so push it in against the leg. It will click in. Now we're going to extend this out and put it up. You want it up so that it is out of the way and get this knee down. You need to turn that down like so. So the red is showing. And then we'll extend the leg up. And then this little part here will click in like so. And that's one leg done. So once again, take that out, turn it around, click it in. Now put this leg up like so. You want to make sure it is all the way back so that you can move this easily. You probably might break that if you try to force it. So I just like to put the leg completely out of the way up like so. It's got a good ratchet click to it. I like that. And now bring this up, click it into place, and the legs are done. Essentially, the legs and the arms are done. Now you basically just got to flip the head and put out his backpack, basically. Uh, there's not a whole lot to it. And I'm going to start with the back next. You open up these panels on the sides, and that will allow you to pull the backpack off. It comes off pretty easily. Uh, you don't need to force it too hard. Now you'll take this and turn it 180 degrees. Now let's go back to the front. You want to take this assembly part off and you want to pull out this chest. Pull both of these out and down. Now, with his backpack open, we need to put his beast head down, rotate it like so, and there is his robot head. Now, you see these two little tabs? Well, right here we have two slots. Oops, sorry. This actually pushes in like so. Here is where the two slots are, right here. So we will tab that like so. Now, this part of the chest will flip out. Let your fingernails grow, people. It comes in handy. So anyway, take this up, turn it 180 degrees, and put it back in. Now, waist, 180 degree turn, like so. Now you can put his arms down, and now all we have left is his backpack, which is also very easy. Take these uh, missile shooters up, and while you're back here, you want to push this turn this around like so. That is his prime jets which look really cool. And now finally this backpack is just about done. You have tabs here on each side and you have little slots in here. And This will hold the backpack in place. And there we go. There is your masterpiece Optimus Primal. Put his blasters, his missile launchers down like so. And he looks really, really nice. I have to say, I really like this figure. Um, he is very well done. Very show accurate. I know they've re-released uh, one that's more painted like the toy, but 
Um, as much as I like the toy, I really do prefer the um, show accuracy of the Masterpiece line. Um, and he looks really nice. He's got a lot of... He doesn't have a whole lot of molding detail, but what he does have looks nice. This chest piece here in particular, nice molding in there, silver gray paints. Looks really nice. He has some nice white and red in him as well to break up all the gray from his gorilla mode. His head. Uh, he does come with uh, three faces as well. This is his normal face, which I kind of like. And we also have these other two faces. Actually, he has another face. I'm missing it. Where is that other face? Here we go. And that is his other face with his uh, face mask down. I kind of like that. Um, now, I, I was under the impression you had light piping with this guy. Um, you turn the head around. You can definitely see a clear spot here, as well as these eyes definitely look like they're ready to glow from some light coming through them. But um, I thought he had light piping, but it doesn't. Uh, at least mine doesn't. Let's try these other faces on. Get up and under. And this looks like his just a regular face, no smile or anything. I kind of think when they were making him, they were kind of like wondering, well, what accessories are we giving this guy? Um, he has his mouth open a little bit there. I know my camera's not the best. And uh, I think they just kind of thoughtlessly said, oh, well, let's just give him some faces. Instead of his mace, which would have been nice. I like that one. A little too Optimus Primey, though. I kind of I like how he would close it up when he needed to, but normally wouldn't have it like that. Um, just so much so that Optimus Primal would have his own look. To not necessarily look like Optimus Prime. There we go. Kind of just like him being his own bot, his own character. And he also comes with two swords. And uh, these swords will tab into his hands. It's typical of your Masterpiece line figures. Uh, they do have tabs on them. Which is good. Keep this in place. The thing, but uh, the hands hold them pretty good, actually. Looks really nice. I like the swords. And they do store when he's in his robot mode. Um, you do have these tabs here. And there are slots on each sword. So you can put them here on his backpack. Um, now he also has, I showed you earlier the, the Prime Jets when we transformed them. Um, he has this back here. Um, it's there for both his beast mode and his robot mode. Um, there was nothing in it in the pictures on the box or the instructions. Um, I know the speculation is that it's basically figures can hold on to him when he's flying and um, Unless something's been announced or changed, I'm assuming that's all it's for. And he does also have one more feature. Uh, right here in his forearms, there's little buttons you can push. For those of you with fingernails. And that opens up this panel here. Which brings out his forearm blasters. get this one up too and there we go 
looks pretty cool. I do like it. Although I tend to leave the cover up like this when I put mine out. I just think it looks a little better than having that flap out because it will hinder your arm movement a little bit. Um, so I kind of like to leave the leave them out like that. Uh, articulation wise, we already went over the arms in gorilla mode. Uh, they're essentially the same here now. The head is on a nice ball joint. It's got good swivel up and down. Uh, legs, you got a lot more articulation now. Uh, got a waist ratchet that moves. Yeah, let's get the swords out of there. A uh, lot more free movement here around the thigh, around the hip. Uh, got a ball, that's on a ball joint that moves nicely. Knee good movement and a full ankle pivot. So he's he's good for posing. He really is. I like him a lot. Um, yeah, he, he looks really nice. And just for some comparison, let's set him up like so. Here we have the Beast Wars Optimus Primal. Uh, he is a bit smaller, but um, much better articulation. I, well, well, I still love this figure anyway. That is a really cool Optimus Primal. And I also have on hand, this is the Generations Voyager class Rhinox uh, Wobbly Leg guy that he is. Let's see if I can just get him standing side by side here now. Uh, there we go, don't fall. And uh, he's a bit bigger than Rhinox. Um, I do believe in the show Rhinox was a little bit bigger than Optimus. So they're not really good scale with each other. Um, but it's alright. I don't mind Primal being bigger than Rhinox. He is the leader after all. And I also have the Generations uh, Waspinator for comparison. Um, that actually looks like a good good scale to me for these two figures. This this looks about right. Um, he's a good size bigger than Waspinator. I think that's how it should be. Uh, so yeah, I, I do like that. He is quite a nice figure. I do believe he's about the same size. Nope, he's just, yeah, roughly the same size. A little bit bigger, maybe, than the uh, Transmetal Optimus Primal. Not bad. They're, uh, they're pretty close in size. And, of course, he also came with uh, a card and instructions that I'm not digging out. I just keep stored away. Um... He's a really nice, nice masterpiece figure. Um, I think all the masterpiece figures are pretty much worth getting. It goes without saying. Um, but price-wise, he is a good price for the masterpiece line. Uh, Dinobot and Cheetor, I know they're a lot more expensive, and the Megatron that's coming is as well. So this guy is much more in my uh, budgetary range for uh, an impulsive buy. The other's not so much. So he's got that working in his favor for him. Um, what can I say about him? He's prime. He is just prime. So definitely worth getting if you're a fan of the Beast Wars. I know some people aren't, but still it's an excellent figure. Remember folks, monkey not truck. So until next time, have a good one.